Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. Today we are actually continuing on with our World War 1 ship. As you guys can see right here, uh, in the previous video we actually ended up adding the bridge. Now, I'm assuming uh, that this is kind of like a strange place to actually put the bridge, so we might actually end up moving this thing backwards. But anyway, with that being said, that actually to me looks pretty good. So what we're going to do today is, I think we're going to go down inside and we're going to start building ourselves a, uh, a steam engine. So, um, yeah, we can actually power this thing, move it around, and I think that'll be pretty good. So let's have a little look inside of here. At the minute, we've actually got a load of weight, uh, and that is why this ship is actually, like, leaning forwards. Uh, because we've got as much weight in the front as we do in the back, even though the front is obviously heavier. So we'll sort that out, and, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens from there. Anyway, let's continue. Let's get on with it. Okie dokie. So, uh, we need to go ahead and load up the, uh, the, the steam engines that we actually already have. So, the steam engine is actually inside of this at the moment. Uh, and we should be able to actually just take this entire thing uh, and use it for ourselves. With that being said, though, is it going to work? Who knows? Uh, I think it would, though. I honestly think it would be completely fine. But anyway, there's the uh, thing right there. We need a steam engine. Let's do it. Okie dokie. So I'm going to try and figure out how to do this uh, without actually checking anything first. We're going to just build a steam engine. Uh, yeah, without checking anything. So let's uh, delete most of the top little rail thing of Bobby right here. There we go. All the way to the front because it is unnecessary. There we go. We're then going to actually save this as it is. There we go. So World War One Warship B. Very good. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and check the presets really quickly because reasons. So right here is our steam engine. Let's have a little look at it. So realistically, we could actually just copy and paste this uh, into our ship and it would actually work. However, we don't really want to do that. We don't. Um, but what we could do, actually, is we could we could take it. We could delete this guy. We can attach another one of these. Do literally the exact same thing, if that makes sense. So like that. And um, yeah. All right, cool. Actually, we can totally just use this. Yeah, there's no point in me actually just building an entire new piece. Because if we've already got the piece that we need uh, right here, then there's no point in building a whole new one. So there you go. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab this real quick. So we'll actually go ahead and copy this bit. We'll go ahead and cut it. And we'll move it upwards and to the side. And actually, we'll put it right with these ones. Uh, so move it backwards and downwards and sideways. And turn it around. Push it backwards into there. Paste it. Merge it. And we'll be good. All right. Awesome. So that does actually work. That's brilliant. Okie dokie. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go ahead and send this to Steam out if we can. So go ahead and take this literally all the way to this side and make it go in there. Uh, we will need one of uh, these guys. Hold on, where is it? One of these guys to go in there. Uh, because that works. There we go. And then we need one of these guys uh, to obviously go down into that one. Okay, very good. Bam, bam. Very good. Bam, bam. Very good. And then we need this one to do pretty much the same thing. So, uh, we go ahead and do... Whoa. Uh, this. There we go. No, wait. That didn't work. This. There we go. Awesome. Uh, we then need it to go sideways. Just down this side. And then this way. All the way backwards like this. Actually, we'll make it go to there. And then we'll have it go back in. Because, yeah, there's no reason not to. So, we'll have that go back in there. Have it go this way. One, two, three. Awesome sauce. Go ahead and put this on. Just like so. And there we go. So, we have ourselves a steam engine. Do we like it? I think we do. I do. Okie dokie. So, I think what we do from here is we actually end up making this go backwards uh, a little bit. But we'll actually do this first. So... We're going to go ahead and put that on. Okay, we're then going to put this on here like this. We're going to get ourselves a clutch. There we go. And we're going to put that right there. Okay, epic. Let's go ahead and copy and paste in this entire thing and put it into our boat. And hopefully it fits. Okie dokie. So this is it actually copied and pasted into our build area. Let's go ahead and drop it down below the deck. And yes, we're going to have issues. We are going to have a few issues. Alright, but that's okay. So this is going to go pretty much at the back of the ship, to be honest. So it's going to go all the way back here. Uh, and that's going to be completely fine. However, this bit is going to have to be a little bit of a bump on the deck. Which, to be honest, that's okay too. So uh, let's go ahead and send this backwards a lot more. Actually, 
We won't have it directly at the back because it is going to weigh quite a lot. But um, yeah, that works. Cool. Okie dokie. So there we go. It is pasted right in. Let's go ahead and put that on there as well. There we go. It's merged together now. Yes, it is. Uh, and we're going to seal this up literally just by doing uh, this. <laughs> we're going to do we're going to do that. There we go. Seems pretty weird, but honestly, it's fine. Uh, we'll then do something like this and this. And I think that looks kind of cool. So we'll keep it, I guess. Let's go ahead and get the right colors. And we'll do that too. There we go. And there we go. All right, amazing. I think we'll leave that just like that. It's fine. It is fine. Okay, so this uh, is going to have to have two propellers on the back of the boat. So we're going to push those out there, I do believe. All right, actually, let's do it a little bit further in. About Ikea. There we go. Actually, maybe even one mm, there. We're going to do it there. So pipe. Let's uh, figure out how this is going to work. So we get a straight pipe enclosed. And we'll put it right in here. There we go. Get ourselves a propeller. And we'll see if we can attach that somewhere. It's a large propeller. Yeah, it's going to have to go down one. Or we're going to just delete this. And this. There we go. <laughs> I mean, that does work. I mean, it does. It does actually work. But it's not the best, is it? It's not, it's not a good way of doing things. Uh, I don't think. So we'll actually just fill this in anyway. And I guess that's fine. Yeah, I'm sure that is A-OK. -okay. We're then going to paint all of this. There we go. Exactly right. There we go. Awesome. Uh, so realistically, I wouldn't have this like this. We'd have a pretty long uh, stick, and then we'd have it on here. Uh, obviously, it's not called a stick either, but there you go. Prop shaft. That's what it's called. All right, there we go. So we've got our propellers in. Uh, we need to then attach those to the right place. So we've got to move this guy. Uh, cut it. Move it this way one. There we go. Paste it back in. Merge it together, and that'll be fine. Okay, so these guys are both going to be powered by this. It's going to be interesting. So do this sideways. Good. Go ahead and have it come outwards. Uh, so it goes past the battery, pretty much. And then have it send it backwards from there. Okay, no, this is fine. Here we go. Boop. There we go, and wee. There we go. All right, awesome. Uh, so that's going to go sideways, and then sideways again. And it's all going to attach together. And that's going to be it. Okay. Very good. So put this here, like this, put it on there, and there we go. Nice. Steam engine installed. Awesome. Okie dokie. So we don't actually need to see this at all. Uh, we really, really do not need to see it, but um, we're going to see it. So that's the thing. But anyway, Steam, uh, we need the hopper thing to do things. We need the hopper thing to do things. So realistically, I would love to have these be on the floor. Uh, but I don't think we can get it to that point. So that goes there. And then if we had another one that would allow it to go downwards, that would be great. But then this has to go in the floor. So that would have to be deleted, right? All of this would have to be deleted. And then we'd have to have, like, this huge hopper in the floor. Which just doesn't seem right, but I think that is the right height for it, right? Is that the right height? Yes, it is. So we're going to go ahead and put like two huge hoppers, maybe even three huge hoppers on this thing. Uh, it might sink it. <laughs> it could actually legitimately sink this boat, but let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Awesome. Delete all of that and put this piece on. There we go. So it doesn't look so out of place. And then do the same thing back here as well. There we go. Uh, and then we're actually going to go ahead and delete all of the weight just for now. Okie dokie, and that's what we've got. So let's go ahead and spawn it in and see what that floats like. I'm assuming it will be quite high, but actually that looks that looks decent. Uh, obviously it is going to tip over because reasons, um, but that's all right. That's not too bad. Good. Yes. All right, we'll add a little bit more weight in the bottom in the middle, and uh, hopefully that'll be fine. So we're going to do it for the whole length of the, uh, the vehicle, and that'll be great. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and get some weight, and uh, we'll just attach it straight to the bottom, I think. So we'll have it be like, actually, we'll do it two. We'll do it with two. So instead of being three, it's actually just going to be two. There we go. Delete that guy and delete all of this. There we go. All the way down, down the sides. Very good. Do that all the way to there. Very good. And we'll continue it backwards from there as well. So this is going to go all the way to the back, pretty much. Uh, and that's going to be great. So to there. Very good. We'll go ahead and do this. And that's awesome. We've actually added three at the back, though. So, not sure about that. I'll eat all of that. There we go. All right, awesome. Spawn it in. Let's see what it floats like now, shall we? All right, how's it going to float? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay. 
We might need some sort of stability system into this thing because it is going to tip over again. Uh, especially when I add the funnels and stuff. So that's a thing. But um, yeah, all right, this is good. This is really good. Okay, so the way I want this to work then is we're going to have to attach W and S to our uh, clutch. There we go. So we can actually make this thing move forwards and backwards. We then need to move this entire piece, all of these guys, uh, for reasons that we, we're not going to explain right now. But anyway, we're going to bring this forwards. And we're going to bring it all the way up to the here. So we don't actually have to start it from down there. Because honestly, if we have to start it from down there every time, that would be super annoying. But uh, yeah, if we can start it from up here. Oh, actually, maybe even down a floor. Maybe in here we can start the engines and stuff. That would be pretty cool, actually. So we'll put those right there. Paste it, merge it, and that's it. All right, good. Uh, they need electricity too, so we'll, we'll obviously give them that. Uh, attach this onto there. Attach this onto here. And everybody's got electricity. Very good. Okay, so now, realistically, we should be able to move this thing. Which would be awesome. All right, spawn it in. We won't be able to turn because I don't have any rudders, but that's okay. Go ahead and jump up here. Go downstairs. There we go. Uh, air valve and pumps are already on. Ignite. Let's do it. I need a, I need dials in here too, but that'll be fine. Uh, and yeah, it should actually start up and we should be able to start moving. Oh, there is other things that we do actually need to do as well because the, uh, the air and the exhaust don't actually have any... We don't have any air or exhaust here, so... We need to actually move these upwards and that'll be fine. So go ahead and do this all the way up to there. There we go. Delete those guys and make it go up through this. Okie dokie. All right, good. So we'll do that, do that. And then we need a fluid port for both of these. Uh, and that should be it, to be honest. So a fluid port, let's go ahead and put that on directly uh, on both of those. Uh, and now it should start. We'll also get a dial. Uh, and that's going to be for the temperature of the... Oh, I guess we need a few. So, right, we're going to go and put some dials in here. One, two, three. Very good. Uh, attach those to each other. Very good. And then, yeah. So, right, this dial is going to be the temperature of the boiler. Okay. Uh, we're then going to get uh, do, 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 coal level. Coal level as well, because that's kind of important. And then we need battery as well. So, we're going to put that on there. All right, cool. Let's do it. So, click on here, click on here, coal level, coal level, very good, this one is boiler temp, okay, and then this one is battery, battery, okay, excellent, All right, spawn it in, let's see what happens, okie dokie, ignite, here we go, so coal level, we've actually got 754 coal, that's awesome, alright, boiler temperature is rising, so that means it's running, that's awesome, uh, battery's working. Everything's good. All right, let's go upstairs and have a little look up here. Uh, this actually looks fantastic. I like the snow. Also, uh, obviously, this will be going up through funnels. Uh, and we might end up having more than one boiler, too. So let me know if you guys want, like, two boilers. That'd be crazy. That would be crazy. Oh, and when I say boilers, I actually mean, like, steam engines. We could actually put two of them down there in the lower decks because, honestly, there's not going to be anything down there. Uh, we might put a room in, maybe, like a dorm room. That'd be pretty good. Uh, but yeah, there's not going to be too much more in there. All right, cool. Anyway, let's go downstairs and see what the temperature is. Boiler temperature is working. All right, we're ready to go. Oh my god, I just jumped off. <laughs> okay, all right, get back on board. What the heck am I doing? All right, there we go, and go. This is slow. This is slow, guys. Hot diggity dog. Alright, okay. So, I, I did think it was going to be slow originally. But this is very, very slow. Also, the winches are making noises and that's really annoying. But that's fine. So, yeah, this is far too slow for us. We need it to be way quicker. So, we need a gearbox on there. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what happens from there. But honestly, it is moving. Uh, and it is moving the way that we'd want it to. So, that's kind of cool. Okie dokie, let's go ahead and uh, get a speedo. Hold on, speedo. Yes. Okay, so a speed sensor. That's going to go... I don't know. I don't really want it to go on the front anymore. Uh, we always put them on the front, and I don't really want it to do, to do that anymore. So we'll actually put it up here. We'll put it right there. Okay, excellent. So there's our speed sensor. 
We need a dial so we can see what the speed is. All right, and that's going to go up here somewhere. So we'll actually put the speedo um, in there. Yeah, right there. Okay, that's going to be our speedo. Good. So connect this directly up to there. That's our speedo. Very good. All right, go down here. We need a gearbox. We need a gearbox. Uh, and I don't really know where to put it. So I think we'll put it in here. Gears. Okay, we're going to go with uh, this one. We'll go with that one. There we go. Uh, and we'll have it be something like two to one. Okay, awesome. Uh, and I think that'll be fine. Okay, excellent. Attach that straight to there. We then need um, some generators, actually. So I have uh, something like this go out on both sides. Then we'll have it come out both ways. There we go. And then we need generators, which we're not going to have medium ones. Oh, should we? Nah, I think we should have, like, some small ones. So we'll actually go ahead and put this here. And we'll do this. And we'll also do this. All right, cool. And then we'll have loads of little generators. Okay, so there, there, there. And there, very good. And there as well. Okay. Right, so we got five tiny generators on each side. They're going to go to the battery. That's going to be it. There we go. All right, cool. So we got generators. We got a gearbox in this thing. We've now got a speedo as well, so we know how fast we're going. Uh, and that should be good. Uh, these things, I don't know how to make them stop when they, yeah, because at the minute they're just going to keep going, which is unfortunate, but yeah. Anyway, let's go down here, make sure it works, and do it again. And there we go, alright, cool, so the boiler temperature is at what we need it to be at. I don't really want to be jumping off this boat every time I, uh, go up here, but that's okay. Alright, speedo, so, uh, this is in meters per second. I don't know what a World War One. I, I, I guess this would be like a, uh, a light destroyer or something like that. Uh, I don't know what speeds they would actually do, so I'm assuming that 3.5 meters per second is... Uh, they, they'd go faster than this. I'm assuming they'd go probably like twice or maybe even three times the speed of this. Um, but maybe not faster than that, because ships are kind of slow. Oh, oh, no, I'm wrong. They go they go way faster than that, actually. They go like 20 or 30 miles an hour, which is... Um, yeah, I don't know what that is in meters per second, but it is is a lot more than that. Uh, right, okay, so we need to figure out how to make it a little bit more, a little bit, a little bit speedier, because uh, at the minute, that's just not good. I don't know what's limiting us, though. I, I don't know what's limit limiting us at the minute, so, mm. issues. Okie dokie, so after a quick message with uh, Billy Blidge, or Billy Bly, uh, we're going to go ahead and actually edit this uh, entire thing to about here, so we're going to go ahead and cu cut this and make it go backwards. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna edit this. We're gonna cut it. We're gonna move it backwards by about four. One, two, three, four. Uh, something like that, and then paste it. Okay, very good. So, what we need to do is we actually need the um, the pipe from the boiler to be pumped uh, into the turbines, and then apparently that'll increase our speed by quite a lot. So that's what we're gonna do. So this is the pipe out of the boiler. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves a quick pump. Here we go. And we'll attach that directly onto here. Uh, just like that. There we go. So this should be out. No, it's the other way. It's the other way. Hold on. Oy. All right. Turn that around. Put it right there. And this is out. There we go. All right. Very good. Uh, and that literally just has to attach onto here. So bring it sideways. Take it backwards. And then attach that to there. Okay. And that's it. Apparently that's all we need to do. I, I don't know how this helps. But, um, yeah, I guess it increases the pressure a little bit, which is awesome. Uh, or it continues the pressure, I guess? I don't really know. Anyway, uh, what is this? This is the air valve, this is the fans and pumps. Okay, so, let's go ahead and see what happens now. I haven't changed anything else but that. Let's see what happens. So we're going 3.5 to begin with. Uh, if Billy's correct, we should go a lot faster or something. So let's see what happens. Alright, increase the boiler temperature. There we go. As soon as this gets to 100, we'll go up and uh, we'll see if it works. Okie dokie, we're getting pretty close now. So let's go ahead and go upstairs. And uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and jump to the side. And there we go. Right, cool. So when we're ready, we're just going to go. Let's listen to this. All right, there we go. It's whirled up. So now we should be able to move forwards, which indeed we can. Oh, we're at 3.5 already. And now we're at 3.9. 3, 4. Alright, if I stop and we slow it down a second. 
They whirl up quite a lot, but then it doesn't really push me that, uh, that much faster. Hmm, interesting. I feel like we are going faster, but like, yeah. I don't know. That's not good. That's not, we need to go faster than that. Alright, okay, so I've changed one thing, and uh, that is... I've actually gone ahead and turned the thing around. So we've actually turned the gearbox around. Uh, which means that the engine won't die straight away, which obviously you guys can hear it. It's a little bit louder this time. Uh, but it's still not good. We're at three. Okay, so we need to change the gears. But, um, yeah. Issues. Okay, so just as a test, I did a little bit of modification. I've added another, I've added another turbine. So let's see what happens here. So, uh, now we're actually going six. All right, now we're going five. Now we're going four. So we're going five. All right, cool. So adding an extra turbine has actually sped us up a little bit more, which is awesome. Uh, there is one more thing that I want to do though. So that extra turbine actually has a pump as well. Uh, as you guys can see, it's in the line. Uh, but I think we should actually add a pump to the next bit also because, um, yeah, it sort of needs one, doesn't it? If the rest of them have them, why doesn't this one? So there we go. We've added an extra pump, another pump, uh, and we're going to put it the same place uh, as the other ones. And that should be fine, I think. That should be completely fine. Yes. So the steam out, which is this, is actually going to go ahead and send it all the way back. Uh, the steam in is already using a pump, so that's pretty good. Uh, and we could actually try... Uh, and do it so that it actually pumps in quicker, if that makes any sense at all. Um, do, 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 do. How does this work? Right, so stop doing this on both sides. There we go. We'll press U, and we'll move it over one. There we go. And is that going out right? Yes, it is. All right, cool. We're going to try it with two pumps here. Uh, whether that will work or not, who knows, but I guess it's worth trying. So there we go. Um, do, 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 All right, let's try it. Okay, so if we're ready, let's go ahead and make this thing go forwards again. There we go. So we're going five. Oh, it's going five again. It's actually slowed down, so we've, we've made it slower. <laughs> I don't know which bit of it has made it slower, but it is definitely slower. So uh, now we're going, I mean, we're going almost twice as fast as, well, we're not. We're not. We're actually slowed down a little bit. I don't know what's going on here, but um, we need to figure this out because, yeah, this thing is too slow. It is far too slow. That sucks. All right, okay, so I've done a little bit of research and it said something about actually adding a, like, a big pump to each of these. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and have a pump uh, somewhere on these. And I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work, I'm not going to lie. But uh, if we go ahead and we add pumps to these, then hopefully we can actually make it work quite well. But anyway, let's go ahead and do this, but the other way around, so press U. Uh, oh, that doesn't work. Hold on, do this, and then press U. Oh, no, that doesn't... What the heck? What the heck? It doesn't work either. What the heck? Alright, okay, so grab this, and we want, essentially, the, uh, the out to go the other way. So we're gonna turn it around, put it right there, and the out is now going the other way. Alright, awesome. So that is correct, right? This should be out as well. Yes, it is. Uh, and instead of using, like, the small pumps, we're actually gonna use the big ones, uh, and hope that this works at least a little tiny bit better, so... Let's go ahead and pump this this way, and then we'll do it the same right there. There we go. And then essentially, we're just going to go ahead and grab it from there, all the way to there, and this piece. Go ahead and copy it, and move it along. All right, so paste it right there. Very good. Move it along again. Paste it right here. There we go. And we're going to merge all of these together. So merge this with this, this with this, and that one's already merged. Okay, excellent. Then we're going to go ahead and power them in series. I guess that doesn't really matter, but there you go. Uh, and that's going to connect to the battery. Okay, very good. We're then going to connect all of these guys up to the other bit, and that's going to be awesome. So pumps and fans uh, is going to connect to this, and this, and this, and hopefully that will uh, allow us to be a little bit quicker. Okie dokie, so currently we're just waiting for the, uh, the turbines to spool up, and then once they've spooled up, we can actually go. Uh, but what I want to do is I actually want to get it to 13 meters per second, which is about 30 miles an hour, which should be about the speed of this boat. But anyway, if we go back here and we have a little listen, there you go, you can hear it roaring, which is awesome. And then we should be able to just go. So let's go ahead and make it go. Uh, and it hasn't made a difference at all that we have added those uh, those pumps, which is unfortunate because I really wanted those to work. Yeah, all right, cool. So I don't really know what the issue is with this. What I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select this. Uh, and we're going to make WNS sticky. There we go. Uh, we're going to get this thing moving. I'm going to teleport into here and see what our bottleneck is because there's a few things that it could be. So, yeah. Also, we can actually go ahead and put this to this. 
and we'll put the other one to two to one and we'll have a change gear and we'll see if it changes it to faster or slower if we change it. So put that on one. All right, excellent. Okie dokie, so it's revving up. Let's go ahead and make this thing go forwards and that will be awesome. We're then gonna change the gear and we'll see if it actually implements any difference to this. So currently we're going 3.6. Let's go ahead and press one and then we go five, but then we drop back down to four. All right, okay, so changing the gear is good. So we'll start it off on a higher gear. Okay, interesting, that's good. Anyway, let's go ahead and leave this going forwards. We'll teleport down here and we'll see if there's anything that we can actually look at. Uh, that will impact us. So if you guys can see anything that's wrong here, let me know in the comments down below. Currently, there's no fluid in this one. Uh, there is a little bit of fluid in there. There's uh, a little bit of fluid in there. Actually, a tiny amount of fluid. Maybe we just need more fluid. We need more going through it. I think that makes more sense. Yeah, let's try and add a little bit of a tank to this. Uh, and we'll see if more fluid actually helps the whole system. Obviously, if there's too much pressure in it, though, there's still an issue. But we're going to go ahead and have the uh, tank, the extra tank, be on this side. So water in. All right, okay. So uh, it's going to come out the condenser and back in. Uh, so realistically, we need the extra water to go somewhere. I, I don't know. Let's say up here for now. So we'll actually get ourselves a T-piece. There we go. We'll put it directly onto there. Okay, awesome. We'll then do this. And we'll get ourselves some tanks. Uh, and we're actually going to go ahead and start off with some small ones. Because honestly, I, I, I think that's a good idea. So there we go. Uh, those are going to contain diesel. No, they're going to contain water. So fresh water. There we go. And fresh water. Let's see if this increases or helps us with anything. Okie dokie. So, so far so good. We've actually got it running, which is awesome. Uh, and it is actually going to be working for us, which is very, very cool. Uh, we just need to wait for it to spool up once again, uh, and we'll see what happens from there. I'm assuming extra water will actually allow us to have more steam passing through, uh, which means that the turbines will actually spin faster, and if the turbines spin faster, we have more power output. So that's where I'm coming from. Let's see if it does anything. I'm assuming that it probably won't, but whatever, it's fine. All right, let's go ahead and change it. It was running at 4.4 .4 last time. And at the minute, it's going to go back to exactly the same. So actually, adding water, it didn't really help us at all. That's annoying. Wait a second. If we add, like, one of these impeller pumps, uh, is this going to act like a turbo? I, I don't really know how these work. I've not used one before. But, like, I don't know. Let's say we have one of these uh, and we put it right here. There we go. Uh, we actually have fluid come in uh, from the sea. Okay, this is weird. But let's say we have um, fluid coming in from the sea, so we'll have a fluid pot uh, directly on the bottom, okay, so like this, and it goes there like that, okay, and then we have a pipe that leads to it, so we actually bring this up and in, alright, there we go, uh, and that's fine, okay, so let's say that comes in, we then have it go directly into the pump, okay, like this, we then have the fluid out go up and into here, all right, this is going to be weird. If this works, I, I don't know. All right, okay, into there, that's good. And then we'll have the fluid actually pump straight back out of there, down into the water, and that'll be that. Okay, does that sound like a weird idea to you guys? Because it sounds like a strange idea to me. But anyway, let's go ahead and put that there. I'm assuming that it should really be using air, but maybe if it does use water, that'd be fine. Who knows? Who knows? I have no idea, so we'll see. But anyway, let's say this pump turns on with this as well. Uh, and we'll see what actually impacts, yeah, what impact that has. Because it might not have any impact, we'll see. Uh, also, that pump doesn't have any electricity. Wait, do these pumps have electricity? They do. Okay, but what is that pump right there? It's, it doesn't have any. What the heck? Okay, so it hasn't actually been working. It hasn't been working properly. Oh god, okay, right. So, let's see what happens. Alright, come on. We might have fixed two things here. I'm assuming the impeller thing is not going to change anything, but we'll see. All right, is everybody ready? Let's go! Let's go, 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 go. All right, so, oh, okay. Okay, we're up to five, but that's fine. All right, we changed gears, that's back down to... Okay, so, yes, we've had some sort of impact from something. I just don't know what it was. <laughs> that's so annoying. Also, we're only going about a third of the speed that I really, really want to be going, so that's really annoying too. So, I don't really know what to do about that. Unless we actually have a generator on this as well, or a electric motor that pushes us along as well. 
Uh, I don't know how much power generation we actually have out of this thing either, because we do have, uh, yeah, loads of generators on this. Probably a bad idea to have so many uh, when we're struggling with power, but yeah, we're going to go with that for right now. Okay, gearboxes, that's okay. Uh, and then we got this. So what if uh, we actually add extra motors to this? So we actually add a motor. All right, just a tiny electric one, and we'll put it like right there. Okay, but we can't because we need one of the these. Okay, so let's say we do have one of these. Do it on both sides and we put it right there. Okay, like this. We put the motor directly onto the top of that. And then that attaches to there. Wait, I'm doing this on both sides, right? Oh, I didn't delete it. That's why. I didn't delete it. Yeah. Okay, right. So we need one of these. And then we need it to go on there like that. That's good. And then we need one of these to go on top of there. Okay, excellent. And then we need the power. There we go. And then we need it to go to here. Which is going to be W and S. Okie dokie. Right, so connect that to there, connect that to there. Okay, awesome. Uh, and I guess we'll see what happens. Oh, we also need another dial for the battery. Because otherwise, uh, we really won't we, we won't know. <laughs> we, we won't actually know. So we're going to go ahead and put the dial for the battery down here. Uh, battery. Hold on. Battery. 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 There we go. Very good. Uh, and that's going to connect directly onto a battery, which is going to be all the way at the back, right there. And we'll see how that goes. Alright, so, um, uh, I'm spe ske skeptical. I'm skeptical as to how this is going to go. Uh, but I'm assuming that it'll work. Let's do it. Oh, those little motors should probably be on gearboxes as well. Because uh, currently they are not on gearboxes at all, so that's a problem. Um, but honestly, if we put them on gearboxes, uh, then they've got a good chance of actually helping us. Also, just as a side note, I do actually really like the way this thing looks. Like, I, I do actually really like it. Um, if you guys have any ideas on how I can change it, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I think we're going to have some funnels, possibly two, maybe even three. Uh, and then we're going to have torpedo tubes and a lifeboat or two. So that is the plan for this thing. Uh, whether we'll actually be able to do all of that, I don't know. But we'll see. We'll try. All right, we're going. We are going. All right, change the gear ratio. We're up to six. Now we're going back down to five. Uh, the battery is staying strong, though. The battery is staying strong. So actually, we can have the little motors. All right, good. Hello, little motor. All right, okay. So we're going to go ahead and clear this. We're going to grab that one, and we're going to grab this one. We're going to cut them. We're going to move them up one. There we go. We're going to paste them back in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get gearboxes, uh, little tiny ones. We're going to attach them on like that. We're going to merge this with this, and hopefully all will go well. Alright, excellent. So now that we've done that, we need to select the gearbox, and we need them to be really strong. There we go. And uh, really strong on this one as well. So we use the entire um, thingamabobby. Alright, good. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm struggling with this, guys. I don't know whether we just need more turbines. Because if we need more turbines, we have the room for it. Um, but honestly, yeah, if we add another turbine... I don't know whether the boiler is going to be able to deal with it. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, let's get this thing moving again. We'll see what the water situation is like. Because uh, maybe I just haven't added enough. Maybe. Okie dokie. Are we ready? We are going to go ahead and shoot forwards now. There we go. We're going to change our gear ratios. And it's still five. All right. Adding gears didn't really change anything. Uh, honestly, it, it feels like it's quick enough. But it's just not. Like, this isn't actually the speed that we want to be going. Probably like three times this speed is what we need. So we need to figure out how to do that. Um, yeah. Issues. Okay, so what if we check out the actual firebox itself? What is the uh, the air ratio, the exhaust ratio? So 10.4 liters per second out of four liters. So is the air and the exhaust actually an issue out of this thing? Because that could be it. That could be it. All right, cool. So, coolant is actually fine. All right, that's all good. Uh, pressure in the boiler is 4.2. That is actually very good. We can make it 10 if we wanted to, uh, but that's okay. There's still no fluid in it, though. Uh, this thing, no fluid in it. This thing, okay. So, I think we just need more fluid again. I think we literally just need more fluid again. But, I mean, out in the ocean, this thing actually doesn't, like, it doesn't look too out of place. I mean, the bridge looks strange the way it is, but it, it is the way that it is on purpose. Um, so that we can actually see and stuff, which is great. Uh, as soon as it's got funnels and guns, I actually think this won't look too bad. But, yeah, we need it to go a little bit faster.
And I think water is what we need. So tank, that is what we're going to go straight for. We're going to go for a large tank on both sides. And we're going to go ahead and try and position it so that it works. Unfortunately, we can only have one on this side and then one on this side. Okay, that's the way it's going to have to work. Interestingly enough. Okay, so if we do this to there, there we go. We can actually still get there. That's good. That's good. All right, cool. Uh, we're going to grab this one and we're going to put it right here. Bam. All right, cool. Excellent. Uh, then we're going to delete this, 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 and that. There we go. And we're going to make this fresh water. Uh, fresh water also. Uh, and that adds a hell of a lot more water to the actual system. Is it going to help? Who knows? Okay, boiler pressure has been reached. Let's go up to here and see what happens. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, cool. Change the ratios. All right, six. Yeah. Ah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is! What do we do? I'm gonna try one last thing. I know that I've been saying this like a million times, but I'm gonna try one last thing this video, and then after this, you guys can tell me whether I'm doing something completely wrong or uh, not. So we're gonna go ahead and delete these guys. There we go, all over there. We're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a pump. Uh, and essentially, we need one pump for out, which is gonna be on one side. And then we need one pump for in, which is gonna be on the other side. So uh, let's go ahead. And do... Ah, uh, I can't actually... Right, put that there. Put this here. Right, so, pumps. We need them to go, like, opposite. So this needs to go on here. Okay, this is for the air. So it actually needs to be the other way around. Okay, so realistically, we need to put that... Whoa! On that side, there we go. And this should be out. Okay, so this is for the exhaust, and that makes sense. We then need to do the opposite, so this, which should be in. There we go. Uh, and there we go. Right, okay, so uh, essentially these pumps, pew, uh, these pumps uh, are going to be used to move the exhaust and the air uh, a little bit quicker around the machine, or actually out of the machine and into the machine. So, I, I think that that'll help, but I really don't know. Uh, electricity is something that it needs, so we'll go ahead and give it that. And then, I guess we'll see what happens from here. We will see. Alright, not gonna lie, those pumps haven't done anything. They, they, they might have helped us by, like, I don't know, 0.1. Um, but that is just not good enough. So, we need to come up with a system that'll actually work with this one. I think two separate systems might actually be a lot better than this. Uh, honestly, which would make sense, actually. That would make a lot of sense. Um, the only other thing that I can think of is get rid of the, uh, the electricity, obviously. Get rid of the, uh, electric boosters added to this. Get rid of a load of the generators, because at the minute we've added a bunch of them. Uh, and then figuring out a gear ratio for this, and also adding another turbine. I don't know whether adding four turbines for a boiler is a good idea. I kind of don't think so. Uh, but honestly, I think that is possibly what we're going to have to do. Uh, there is also the chance that we can add the bigger firebox, uh, and that'll help out too. But I'm not entirely sure what that does. So let's have a quick read. Uh, see what the extra firebox does. Alright, so fire. There we go. So we actually have the steam firebox. Okay, and then we've got the steam coal large firebox. Oh, firebox large. Uh, it doesn't actually appear to do anything different. It doesn't do anything different, it's just... It's just bigger. It's literally just bigger. So I don't know, I don't know why we'd need a bigger one, but maybe we do. Uh, maybe it can actually pass more fluids. In fact, let's have a little check of that. So let's put that there. And we'll put this uh, behind it. There we go. Go ahead and jump on the deck and we'll see. So uh, if we go all the way to it... ba 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 we can actually see on this one. Oh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. Ah! That's annoying. That's very annoying. Okay, go downstairs uh, and have a look at this one. So, that's the boiler. Not the right thing. Um, we can see on this that it's 8 and then 2 for coolant. And then it's 10 and it's 0 for exhaust. I don't really know what that means. I don't really know what that means. Does the exhaust even work? Is the question. Does the exhaust even work? Who knows? Who knows? Is the exhaust not doing anything now? Hang on a minute. Have I just broken it? Is that what's happened here? 
Because maybe these are the wrong way around. Because that could be the case. That could definitely be the case. Oh, there we go. Okay. I don't know. I have no idea. Alright, well anyway, uh, I'm going to have a little mess around with this a little bit more. And uh, hopefully you guys will come back to the next video where this thing is moving. At least a little bit faster. Uh, if I can figure it out, we will actually do like sort it out in the next video. Uh, and we'll do it like that. But um, yeah, I'm not sure why. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. We've obviously got three turbines. That's That seems like it should be enough. But honestly, this is quite a big boat for a steam... Yeah, for this. One boiler, one condenser, and then three turbines. It's quite a big boat for that, so I'm not entirely sure. But, um, yeah, not sure. Anyway, if you guys know uh, what it is, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see what I can do. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.